It's gonna be fucking great. It's gonna be a stone groove. This helps you kill. You can't kill without blue death. Hey, do me a favor. Can you give us a vitality? I really want some vitality. I'm not happy with no. I need a substitute. I really want some vitality. It's a vitality. Hello. Click, click, click. Vitality. Fine. I don't know if I can do that. Hey! Fucking bomb! Fucking bomb! Come on, let's hurry up. I want to eat. Food, food, food! I need something to have a heart attack in. Might as well be something that can give me the electric shock throw. Wow. Tonight, 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 tonight. tonight. <laughs> we make love under the moonlight. Tonight, 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 tonight. 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 Tonight, t
four days, we had this total attitude, this is just good, having a good time, and then it got real big. It all started as a cartoon character called Sergeant D. Um, basically being bored after finishing my guitar tracks on the Anthrax album, spreading the disease, I would draw pictures of this skeleton guy who uh, said real, like, fascist things, and I'd put them up all over the studio as a joke. And they were getting ready to do spreading the disease up in Ithaca, so he said, come on up, we'll write a couple of tunes, I'll play what we got. Then I started writing songs based around this character, this Sergeant D guy, who's just this real, you know, fascist type character, and uh, had an idea to, you know, make a record out of it. This is the deal. This is what crossed over hardcore and speed metal to make it one unified scene. This is it. This is, this is history. This piece preserved in plastic and in time for all people to see. They should have sent one of these up in the fucking, in that, instead of the greetings in 500 and the, what was it, 50 languages? They sent up on that laser disc into space. So if um, an alien finds it, they, they can, uh, you know, they listen to it. it should have sent it. Yeah, send it on the challenge. Fucking blow it up. All over <laughs> <laughs> Spread the message a little far. Indestructible CDs. Look at this. Notice how the the billfold didn't rip. Did the CD get fucked up? That Satan did that. This is when music was fun, and all the scumbags stuck their fingers in it and ripped it apart. Simplest album, uh, simplest album I've ever worked on in my life. Because the whole idea was just to get it done. And, uh, just make it as live and spontaneous as possible. We just said, let's just have a blast, and did it, and came out cool. And we rehearsed a couple of times. Once. In, yeah, once. <laughs> in the studio. And then recorded it in two days. And then mixed it in one day. And that was it. Charlie drew the album cover. And, uh, nothing. Nothing? Put the pictures together on the back. Had a collage in the back, and that's it. And we had an album. How's everybody doing tonight? Is everybody feeling all right? Is everybody feeling nice, hot, and sweaty? It's time to go crazy! It's time to go fucking nuts and tear this place down! Go home and kill your fucking self! Here's a new 
some song for you. Come on. Hey, thanks. Got lots of friends down here tonight. Got some friends came down from upstate. People came from Russia, from Germany, from California, from New Jersey, from Brooklyn, the Bronx, from Long Island, from Queens, from everywhere. This goes out to Anthony and the functional idiots. Bye, Alpha New. who took it the wrong way and a lot of people who took it the right way. You know, when it came out, you know, people thought the lyrics were really cool, you know, because they were funny or whatever, and that's the way it was supposed to be taken, as if you were reading a comic book. I saw the crossover of hardcore and rap and all of that happening in the beginning. And I, I don't know, I guess I kind of used some of the lingo without using their music, and it got kind of mis misunderstood. S.O.D. was you know, a big part on everyone, on the whole fucking hardcore and metal. It was the first real crossover of hardcore and metal. Yeah, I, mean, I hear so many records out and it just totally like fit that whole style, which is cool in a way. Because yeah. we aren't doing anything much so someone else can take it over. SOD was very influential even for bands, but other music, you know, other music was influenced by SOD. And uh, all these bands coming out for ages now to sound still sound. They try to sound like SOD, but that's the beauty of SOD was that. We it was, did it without trying, we just had fun. It just happened, you know. And now and it's like a whole big movement, like everyone's doing all the crunchy chords and yelling mosh every 15 seconds in their songs and shit. Yeah, they don't even know what it is anyway. Explain. They, mosh! Explain mosh! Away! Sardonica. This next song is called Speak English or Die! You come to our country, you can get some jobs. Pull the pull the pull the you go home, you put it down. Something on the bottom right corner, selling papers in a street. Put it, put it, take it, run it, where you come from a speed bag. You are the ones we hate You can't even a change 
Songs an instrumental. If SLD was to get back together, we'd blow every fucking band away. We knew it was a great record, and, you know, but you can't keep a good record down, so that's why, till this day, it's still sell. Because it's a good record. We were mixing SLD, and then, like... I heard we it. like, wow. Like, this I is... heard it. I knew it when I first heard SOD that it was going to be big. I heard Johnny came up. Johnny Z came up for the mix down, and, like, his hair flew back. It did make a big impact, because not even so much when it first came out, but more like a year after it came out. After we, it was said and done and it was gone, we had played a bunch of shows and, and then that was it. We knew we weren't gonna do it no more. And then all of a sudden, a year later, it got big. Show. This mega maniac that I love with the soul 
Hey, yo, I want everybody to be aware of something. Seems you people are a little bit too crazy. Your barrier is about to be ripped down. So you people in the front, if that shit goes, watch your hands. We'll be calling you lefty. Right said Fred. Here's a new song for you. Here's a new song for you. It's called... This next song is called No Turn It Back. pissed off because I couldn't get a job because I had like long hair. I get treated like shit when some, you know, kind of couldn't even speak the language, had a good job just because he was clean cut. This doesn't make you prejudiced, you just get frustrated. So oh, he wasn't I clean totally cut. exaggerated. He was clean cut. Homo, vitality, I don't know if that's on the tape, but they're, uh, they're all strong. What else is on there? Homo, yeah, those were all Crab Society songs. Milk was a pretty cool song, it's about milk. When we did the album, we, we also recorded this, uh, <laughs> this uh, 
What, 57 song demo? Yeah. Something called the Crab Society. 59. 59. <laughs> called the Crab Society North Demo. And um, that would be Scott, Billy, and Danny. And it's probably the first type of noise right. core that, you'll, uh, that you ever want to hear. And I wrote the coolest lyrics. I was the one who, they were writing speaking like you should die, kill yourself, Freddy Krueger. And I wrote No Turning Back, music and lyrics. And yeah, Pi Alpha Nu, about drinking and driving and saving the environment. Me! Yeah, but now all that environmental stuff's so popular now. Now it's like, save the trees. Save the fish. I'm glad to see New York hasn't lost its fucking touch. Put on the lights, let's see all you fucking ugly bastards. Ew, what about up there? Uh, I can't see him. Fuck it. This goes out. This goes out to all the fucking people who had to sit home and watch shit about the fucking golf crisis. When you couldn't even watch your favorite fucking TV show. Cause some fucking piece of shit from Iraq. Fuck up like a fucking asshole. This is called Fuck the Middle East! from my old band, M.O.D. For me. We're gonna do, I don't know. I think you might know this one. Wait, 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 wait.
Hendrix and Hoff. I have nothing against Jimi Hendrix. In fact, I listen to some of his music. I find it to be innovative. But however, you know, when a band like Living Color can make a song about Elvis Presley and say, Oh, Elvis died sitting on his throne! Talking about him dying sitting on his toilet having a heart attack. And they don't get a fucking thing said to him. And I said, Jimi Hendrix, you're dead. That's all I said. Yeah, you didn't say what? I didn't say die. he died. I didn't say he died choking on his fucking puke. <laughs> you know, I said, you're dead. Which is the truth. And it was just funny because it's And it was you. funny because no one ever said. You ever hear, you know, hear people going, this is what you hear. Oh, Jimmy Hendrix is the greatest guitarist in the world. They talk like he's still alive. Go, he's fucking dead. All right, there's other great guitarists now. Steve Ray Vaughan. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And now for my favorite part of the show. We're going to do some uh, ballads for you. You want to hear some ballads? Come on. Some Hey, my shoe! Here you go. If you know it, sing it. You're dead! Want to hear it again? You're dead! You want to hear it again? Let's do it again. You want to do it again? You're dead! Actually, what would Jimi Hendrix be doing if he was alive today? Scratching at the lid of his coffin. <laughs> Yo, Billy, show him how you can sing on this one. Go ahead. What is it? Oh. All right. People want to sing along? Want to sing along with something with me? Because I can't sing a fucking note to save my life. I want to hear you people repeat me. I love living in a city. Yeah, something like that. What the devil? What the devil?
Oh, we played the Rising Sun, and it was Hawaiian. Mo, who got? Yeah. Hey, where's my fucking the, pen, the Rising Billy? Sun. That's right, the Rising Sun. Yeah, we played. It was a Yonkers, man. We had foam surfboards that and garlands at the end of the night. That was the, that was the SOD SOD uh, Hawaiian bash. Yeah, I got totally pied at the end, which happened to be again on the Dark Angel tour with Nuclear. I'm always on the road on my fucking birthday, but it was fun, you know. I smelled like puke afterwards, though, because the, the cream would go immediately sour on your sweaty body. Mm. So I couldn't even go into Sweaty, diet sour smell. I smelled like a fucking Yeah, you bulb. smelled like a bunch of... I remember you left that shirt in my van, man. It was uh, baking in my van for like two days. I opened my van and it smelled like I stuffed my fucking face in a dead buffalo's ass. Yeah, the SOD uh, Hawaiian bash. Yeah, the SOD beach party. That was really cool. We, made, uh, we got these surfboards made of styrofoam. I made these SOD stencils. And as soon as we came out, the fucking place was full with styrofoam, yeah. man. Kids were just going nuts. Man. People were coming on stage with these styrofoam surfboards and then diving on I top mean. of the crowd with the surfboards. <laughs> and we gave out, everyone had those Hawaiian lays. A friend of ours, Neil Stopel, got like a couple of hundred of these things. So we gave them out to everyone who came in. So everyone was wearing these Hawaiian lays and stuff. We created a real vibe. Mo, remember Mo? I got Mo. Oh, yeah. Hey, Billy. Fucker. What's my fucking pen? The guy borrowed this guy's pen to sign someone's uh, autograph. I think, hold on. Sharp what did I do? I went to get some chick's phone number, I think. Somebody's phone number. Yeah, I'm I don't a, lot, know, a lot of you haven't gotten any phone numbers. Yeah, I did. I get the I get the phone book. I got a fucking book full of them this big. It says New Jersey Bell. But I, I don't know. I was doing something like that, and I got the guy's gold pen. And I borrowed it, and I go to sign something I don't remember. And I fucking gave it to the person when I did it. I'm like, here, okay, thanks, and I walked away. And a guy came up to me like 20 minutes later. He's like, hey, Billy, where's that fucking pen? That's a 24-karat gold fucking pen. How's everybody doing, all right? Check, check. Hey, Not. Nah. Hey, Gordy, what? You ready? Hey, turn the lights on. Turn the lights on, man. We need some lights. Something. You ready? Here we go. Come on, the regular light. Come on, give me some color. Let's see some color back here. All right, let's hear it for the light crew. Here we go! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Dover, show place. Yeah. The country, oh fucking country place. Who the hell did we play with? We played with Overkill. Overkill, yeah. That was the first show, and before we went on, I forgot I had to tune two of my strings out, and not one for like the first song. I forgot, I was like totally out of tune, I was going, this sounds fucked up. Good, yeah. I realized that that was pretty funny, so the first note we ever played live was probably wrong, I thanks to me. But, um, that was a fucking fun. dick! Hey, man. I think that's what broke up the band, that first note. Definitely. Yeah, it started off on a, on a bad note. <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, no pun intended. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, this next song! It's the brainchild of our manager. This song. That's, that's Billy Milano. I'm not shy. Come on, bring it on. Uh, this is this is our manager's brainchild. Next time your girlfriend is yelling at you because she's on the rag, smack the bitch in the mouth. So this is for Johnny Z. This is, oh, the premenstrual princess. Hello.
The Ritz was the biggest thing we ever played. No show with the Ritz with Wendy L. Oh, it was good. We were gonna have like no stage room, and then one day Williams took their drums down and they let us use their riser, which was really cool. Chromax didn't make the bill because Motorhead, Motorhead was sound checking too long, and also it was a okay. the promoter of the club who was their oh, manager yeah. had to make a choice whether to put <laughs> the Chromax on or SOD, and naturally everybody was able to see SOD. Yeah, For the first time Billy came out in a full Santa Claus <laughs> costume, because and the reason you won't see it is because the idiot at the Ritz who was supposed to be taping it thought we were the Chromags and didn't start rolling the cameras until someone told him we were SOD. So we didn't get the Santa Claus costume, but you could see the Christmas decorations up on the stage anyway. This is gonna be the title track of the second SOD album. Uh, this is called, uh, let me say, the title of the album is gonna be USA for SOD. Because I'm sick of giving these people in Ethiopia and every other fucking country money. I didn't give them a dime. If they all fucking died, I wouldn't lose a week of sleep. This is the title track on the second album, Aren't You Hungry? What about that fashion statement with the underwear on the outside of the pants? What about that fashion statement with the underwear on the they outside just, of the pants? They were just, the pants were cleaner. <laughs> so I put them closer to my, my ass and my balls, and I put the dirty underwear on the outside. <laughs>
favorite weapon is a lock in your eyes. Robert England. Well, you, we did a song. You tell him about it. I'm talking too much. Scott Rose. We met this guy from England. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. That's it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, this guy from another. <laughs> well, somehow we got in touch with the guy who played Freddy Krueger and shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out, man. We saw him putting all his makeup on. He was just this regular guy, and then he just started getting uglier and uglier. He was a fucking douche. I was afraid of that dude. He told me he was going to rip my dick off. We did a bonus session. We never made it. But, uh, 
song that would be in the movie. With yeah, Freddie Krueger? Yeah, Dokken instead. The, yeah, the song was, was, the song was scarier than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Freddie Krueger, that soft faggot. So we did um, the Metal Forces thing we got on, on the cover of him, and people are going, that's not really him, is it? Yeah, people are like, you didn't meet Freddie Krueger, did ya? <laughs> yeah, like his real name is... You go fucking, you, I picked up the phone book and looked up Freddy Krueger. Kruger. Fred, Kruger, Freddy. Yeah, right. 319 Sunset Drive. Elm Street. Elm, yeah, Elm Street, <laughs> sorry. Charlie wants to play guitar. We're gonna be really trendy now, too. Never mind. This Just might fuck some people out. Hey, Scott, give me the lyrics. This is what you call learning on the fucking spot, baby. Lyrics. I don't even know how this one goes. We're gonna figure it out. I'd like to thank everybody for coming down, my buddies from Chicago. Come on! This is for Natalie! been the band, the three of us, but I think it was Billy Milano is really what he, in, in effect, almost became the Sergeant D character that was on the album cover. Uh, it, I mean, Billy made S.O.D. Billy was S.O.D., in my opinion. What a peaceful rehearsal without Billy here. Uh, just wait till he does come. <laughs> we can actually get shit done now. Who fought it? What's it's nice. Up? Your name is Mike? You what you say, fucking Frank Bellman, man? You saying shit about me? I'm serious. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm serious, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking hurt you, man. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm gonna kill it. I fuck. We're practicing right now for the show, so relax. We always just wanted to have a good time. The whole point behind SOD was just, we just didn't give a shit about anything. You know, and uh, I guess that basically came, you know, from Billy's attitude rubbing off on uh, on all of us. Because, you know, with Billy around, you didn't have to give a shit about anything. You quit. <laughs> oh, Billy. That's a paper towel. Billy yeah, did that once in the softball. I crush your head like a grapefruit! Sergeant D's, D's dick. Uh, you ready? <laughs> Sergeant D's dick is coming. Oh, you got eggs on your chin. Like this. Look at this. Come here, girlie. Nice beaver. Mm -mm. Just had it stuffed. 
Billy was just, he was the choice, you know. I just knew, that, get this guy up on the stage and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna rule. You should stay on guitar, man. You're better on guitar than drums. The last song, hey, look, it's MTV. singer of M.O.D., former lead singer of S.O.D. This is our tour pass. This is our tour line, man. Look, we're on the road. And I'm in the band. I'm in the band. Former bass player of the Cyphers. Former singer, of course, from Alarm. I'm losing my mind. This time, that's right. That. Yo, don't fucking, mind. Billy, don't be fucking going ape shit tonight, Charlie Bennett. Former singer of gross Charlie misconduct. Former singer of Hinkley's fan club. That's it, yeah. And here I am today. Look at that monster! Let's do a simple one. Hey, we're gonna have to get another one of you too. Alright. Hey, this is Blue Milano. How's that one? That good? Simple enough? Hey, that's my other band. That's an old picture, though. Let's get a zoom on that one. Oh, a zoom of, like, 1985. 1985. Right out of GQ magazine. Yeah, man, you, you can see my fucking tonsils if you look real close. Yeah, I think the last time I saw a mouth like that, it had a hook in it. <laughs> I was yeah, fishing I off the fucking bait. <laughs> Alright, enough. Of that. So what about... What, what are we doing now? Just United Forces. Play that drum. Just shut up and fucking Shut do it. Fuck up. You fucking hairy. I'm, I'm running, dude. I was the vocals of, MOD, of SOD, was it? 
Uh, I was a vocals in SOD, and I was in MOD, and I don't know, some other ODs. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll OD. There's a big Wrecking one. Machine. Wrecking Machine. <laughs> Wrecking Machine. Oh my God. In the cabbage patch. I can't do this while you straight face. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For our non English. The popularity of yeah. SOD. Alright, take care. Talk. Broke it up. Hey, fuck. didn't you know that? Yeah, because whenever we'd fuck up, I'd be go, oh, fuck it, it's hardcore. And don't fucking forget it! We're done, right? Oh, um, you're done. Pretty close. Hasta la Vega! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Want another one? Germany's favorite record! <laughs> Hi, this is Dan Lilker of Nuclear Assault. I'm also in a band called Brutal Truth, playing the Walking Metal Fest, and I was an SOD. I think. Cool.
Six seconds. Six new songs. Actually not. Fuck it, just go on.
States Man of War is coming back.
how you feel.
right? So tell me, like, it's up with you, like, being like, why are we doing this shit? I'll do it. He yeah, hasn't had a job since, since Jurassic Park. Since what park? Jurassic Park. That's a rap. Look. Yeah. 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 Fucking silly idol. Silly yeah. idol. Troy Donahue. Troy uh, Moore. Okay, why are we sitting here right now? All right, yeah. But it is on our label. We're discussing What's on our label? Oh, well, this DVD this will be on, be on, on our label. No, we'll give this one the nuclear blast. Oh. Right, and oh, it's it right. Who's the DVD? Edit, edit, edit. 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 I should do that. How do I do that? <coughs> oh, you won't be part. No, it's no good. Boxes, that's what they're doing these days. Boxes, that's what they're This is not possible. I must have this. They must have had more money. We must have been sleeping. <laughs> By the way, that is Billy's father gets involved in music. Is Donnie in SOP too, or he just bought my mantra? Charlie, do you even know what's, what no, I have no idea. I was calling. Like, I said, okay, he said, come okay. here today. And, and I'm not going to say the bottom line because he'll be in his victory. <laughs> <for him>. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I got a call from him, Billy. Troy Donahue. Troy Donahue. Silly idol. Silly idol. Silly idol. Silly idol. Silly idol. And he came up to me and he said, you know, we've sold a million copies. Don't you know this? Of the original SOD album. Okay. Right. And Marsh and I were very, very You're surprised excited. as well. But we found that there must have been this big amount of records coming out of Poland and third world countries. But nonetheless, to celebrate this platinum edition that we're going to do, uh, uh, Megaforce will be, I, I guess, what are we putting out? Uh, eight new tracks out yeah. for the regular CD people? Eight tracks? Eight tracks of live stuff from Japan. And what else? And, studio. and uh, two studio covers, an Agnostic Front cover and a band called uh, Negative Approach. Like they, uh, covers. Yeah. Studio. Because Marsh and I used to pay them something like 10 cents for their publishing, so they negotiated so they could get us up to 14 cents an hour record. <laughs> we and showed them. They kicked our ass. We played our ball. But yeah. so, we're, so we're doing it on, so we decided we'll do it better. We're giving them 16%, uh, a, a 16 cents publishing on 40% of the record sold. Okay. <laughs> we negotiated. Oh, so you owe us. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, by the way, did you guys ever get a royalty from the uh, What did you just say? What? <laughs> just said, by the way. <laughs> ah! No! Busted it. Oh, you know, Luca. You know, you're man. man of, you're a man of few words, but. Not. That's because I was waiting for you to say that. We will loop that part. We'll loop that. That one, that, that, this, that word, by the way part, That's will have to be in the, the other segment of the things they didn't use in the. DVD. The, the standard Megaforce yeah, it's director's cut. Director's cut right. video. Right. Deepest right. into the vault. <laughs> now, going into the vault once <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to vault. It's Oiga vault. Now this is the Oiga vault. Oh, the Oiga vault. Okay. So, so Billy came over and convinced us to do this platinum commemorative record. We'll Make up some plaques and prove that we sold millions of records. Who's coming in here? Yeah. Pig Von. Hey, that's, yeah. come, here, come on in, man. Oh, this man. Pig Von from the Howard Stern show. This is Mono. <laughs> this is Mono Rudo. You goddamn motherfucker! Now, Billy likes to refer to me as Pig Von. I just, that's true. We just want you to know that the reason we don't get phone calls anymore, it's him. It's my phone. <laughs> it's it's all phone. me. It's all him. We think it's all him. We also think it's all him. <laughs> and we and also yeah. think it's all him. No, he would still call because he's not smart enough to figure it all out. Charlie, all right. Charlie goes to Billy and asks Billy a lot of questions. Then Billy goes, mm, calls me, then calls Charlie back, sounds really brilliant. And then Charlie tells Scott what's going on and they, they explain it to Monterulo and Luke is too fucking stoned to know what the fuck's going on at all. So he goes, uh, just wait till I play, give me the fucking joint. So, so that's basically. So basically, we're all 100 percent to blame. We're exactly. all to blame. And, but, but, but. Let me just say this. <laughs> but yeah, look, is a very important part of the band. No matter what, Billy and Charlie and uh, they say about Scott, Scott wanted to do without him, we stuck with him. You know, and, and every time Murray calls me up every week and goes, can, can I really only give look a five percent? <laughs> hey, look at him now. <laughs> You know, you just send, just send them. He don't read the shit. He just says, "Oh, wow, money." Look, can I roll shit in this? Look, the bottom line is, we gave Wilker the ten grand we got each for the record. You did. He got an even ten grand, and that's all he's gonna get. 
<laughs> and by the way, Actually, I just told by the way, we forgot to take our commissions out so you went back only 20%. <laughs> That's right. And about the Rulo, what did he, how much commission does he get? Oh, uh, he got a car. He <laughs> got, got, he got a car. We gave him a navigator. <laughs> I slept with it. We just showed him some love. Yeah, we did. We showed him some love. You gave him a car like I gave some guy a car in the Bahamas. Remember that loan? Let me borrow your car for a few days. Cop is boy. That dude took off like a week. A yeah. week on my car. <laughs> I go to Chris Blackwell. He goes. He got back to the to leave for the airport. Oh my God! I never forget that. I just did though. The guy left with your car. <laughs> We left yeah. you for five days. You're a nice guy. Can I borrow your house? Good, because <laughs> we were told this fellow will take care of you, the amenities of Compass Point, blah, 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 show you around, what to do, etc. And he's really like great to everybody in Anthrax and everybody in the school. And then he goes, Johnny, uh, could I just borrow your car? I said, sure, man, whatever you need, you're a bro. It four disappears. Days later. Four days later, when Marshall's probably telling the truth, four days later, he did come back. With it. And I go to Chris, I go, Chris, when are you guys took my cards for, for? For four days. And he goes, hmm, it's like that down there sometimes. <laughs> uh, this, we're going to have footage on this from the 1997. Yeah, with full force. We had some footage at a show we did in Germany. It was our European, first European tour with SOD. How's it sound, right? Oh, it sounds great. Yeah, sure. And you, you know what's kind of cool? This is a very nice, impromptu bit of footage. Yeah, what, what I kind of dig about it is that we've you been feel together. The love, I feel, I feel, I, I, I don't feel the love, <laughs> I, but I feel, feel I love. feel the like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know what it is? It's magic. Let's go. Oh, 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 it's magic. This is magic. I don't want to see mysticism. Uh, right. Can I have for one second, Charlie? Right. So the story is, it's on camera now. Scotty, this is Captain Jerry. <laughs> Beam me up! All right, come on, let's do it. Diamonds. Sulfur and gold. <laughs> A. Powerful combination. <laughs> Whoa, if I leave right now. The Gorn! <laughs> what about William Shatner? <laughs> William Shatner, how he kill his wife? Or William Shatner, even William Shatner killed his wife. Yeah. Hey, he yeah. Well, she died. Supposedly, you haven't moved him out of this. So oh, every time you open it up, you're sending messages out to my satellite. You're making my like life is a Kardashian spy. <laughs> <laughs> Honey! Let's <laughs> get out of here. Meanwhile, meanwhile, every time you do this, you, you, now you turn on my cable TV, my satellite TV. You guys over here, you're on your phone with a clapper. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
six songs in nine seconds. That's great. <laughs> Professional musicians do not try that at home. <laughs> vocals out just pull the kick drums back and, and some more snare okay. so the last night Billy goes and he gets his back tattooed around the corner uh, from the gig gets his back worked on for like four hours he's got three like painkillers muscle relaxes in him drinking beer shows up to the show we're supposed to go on at like 730 it's like 715 he's passed out cold in the dressing room because he was in such pain from his tattoo on his back we, we get him up he does the show and he was like in slow motion the whole night. Like seriously, everything he did was two seconds behind us. All the vocals, everything. He was just behind constantly, like he could never catch up. Did the crowd notice? Nah, but he was just <laughs> like, he just, he could barely speak. Yeah. And, uh, and then the show ended and he went back and spent four more hours of work on his back. Finished a whole bottle of Jack Daniels, got back to the hotel and puked all night. <laughs> that exactly the same way live too. Amazing. <laughs> I memorized my foot movements. I hear he really goes crazy. Fuck this guy. Scrambling eggs. I'd like to 
to hear the top of the first show and the crowd chanting SOB, we should use that like to open this live stuff just to be the chant. Okay. Because I'm sure it's super loud. second bring it down there you go this is where I decided to fucking kill myself how you do it. One take, a masterpiece. Perfect pitch. Will be no Pro Tools on this song. Read the back of that shirt. 
<laughs> was sad. He was on a plane and everybody was like looking at him. <laughs> it's just fucking blurred. Yeah. It's evil. It's wrong, Dan. It's not evil. It's wrong. If you ask these it's guys if that's evil, they'll go, no, it's not evil at all. It's atheistic philosophy. Not that I give a shit either way. I just like the shirt. I don't care if it said all the fucking... Well, actually, I would. I say, I don't care if it said all the fucking ham sandwich and the large fries. I probably wouldn't wear that. How foolish can they be to worship such a king who is crowned and hung between two thieves? <laughs> Foolish How can foolish they can they be? Yeah, what's the name of the band? Immolation. They're from Yonkers, you know. <laughs> They're from Yonkers. They really? That's Wait a minute. Does one of the guys look like an Indian? <laughs> <laughs> no. They're from Yonkers. There's another band from Yonkers. Another death. That, 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 that makes it all right. <laughs> I think it is. One of the guys has long, like, black hair. Yeah. Should have said something from the beginning. Like yeah, that's awesome. Will. Yonkers. That's Will. This will By the way, you know they're from Yonkers. There's some very heavy music coming out of Yonkers, man. Palatial relaxation on winding area. Sniper on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, the millions they've made selling SOD albums. <laughs> and how they've really risen to the top, you know? <laughs> hey, hold on, let me, my, let me get my shorts. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Alright. Scott, I'll let you know when you're ready. Oh, sorry about the sun. It's alright. I have no sunblock. I have no sunblock. <laughs> After 15 years of touring, we finally reaped the rewards. A pool and a melon. I don't know if, when you should, if you should eat melon if it tastes like pumpkin. <laughs> what is this, Bill? Danny. Oh, you, so Danny. We had to go, we had to go to England that, that night. We had to go to the border, the ferry. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Get the <laughs> <laughs> He's walking around the ferry. His so, face is this mush of gray. It's a mess, right? So, so we have to go through customs. So we're all waiting online. Just look online, wait with this shit over his face. He gets to the guy, he gives him the passport. The guy looks and he's like, <laughs> 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 Little kids are like actually running it's away like, from it's him like on the boat. Really? It's like Braveheart. It's Braveheart. Not Braveheart. It's Braveheart. There's a, pic there's a couple of pictures in the collage. In the collage yeah. with yeah. I have a picture of it upstairs. It's embarrassing. Oh, didn't you and that guy? The English customs says to me, "What does the court do?" Yeah, it's me and. Besides, embarrass us, he plays bass. The other part was after the show, we were leaving. I saw Billy go and Billy do like a dummy check, see if he left anything. So Will leaves his camera there. Billy comes up, pissed off. Danny's upstairs, drunk, stoned out of his. Mind. Not me. Billy starts screaming at him, and I just look at Danny. Danny's like, "This one calls me." <laughs> <laughs> Getting yelled at. You gotta beat it. <laughs> this little area, and then one side too. All right. What? Yeah. You walk, you walk, you walk around, around the streets wearing that shirt. Like the back of the shirt. Yeah, that shirt far worse than this shirt. Oh, that's a horrible shirt. It's just a represent. The presentation of that band's from Yonkers too. That's what to makes it even better. Alright, is this water <laughs> gonna open? Who's that? Should we shut this the yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're maybe one more shake left. It's all about the squirrel. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Okay, you guys ready? Uh-huh. Just look good. Of course. Well, that's a problem for one of us. <laughs> I won't say who it is. <laughs> I'm talking about this one. Billy. Billy, just try, okay? Ah. All right, then, put this on my website. Not only do we have a studio, but we have an outside recreation area <laughs> for the bigger bands. <laughs> Our AY clients are afforded the, the pool facility. Free pool lockers for Unbelievable. Yep. And we'll even throw in the melon. 
did that. Maybe you should put your feet on that thing. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Show that cut. Get the cut. <laughs> I don't think the George Washington Bridge has an expansion that long. Look at that fucking leg. Dang. Fuck you. guys know the what did it just come with the location? The that's for the that's for the B clients. They got a shadow lounge with the laundromat next to it. Take that chippy shot, punk. You ain't making You're nothing. Me. What are you worried about, man? You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. You're beating me. It's over, Bill. It's over. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right here. <laughs> Look, I'm all set up to a good. Oh, baby. That's it. Oh! Are you even weak? Is a guy the, the, tell him to come up here. He's coming, yeah. coming Friday. Tell him to shorten his fire. He's bringing the samples. He's bringing the samples. Shorten his fire. The t-shirts. And Billy said you're shorting your fire. The lyrics are pretty ridiculous. Fix that tomorrow. That's a hard note. Then I'll go fight, fight. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Good. Excellent. Sounds great. Cool. Definitely sounds good. I did everything but the choruses. I haven't lost a game since you beat me. See, I taught you something. I taught you how to win gracefully. My chance as your terror unfolds. The There's my wife on the bottom of the deep end. <laughs> She's in the deep end. My wife's in the pool. <laughs> She's in the pool. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you get her out of the pool? Damn it. She's in the deep end. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just want to check the level. <laughs> Call Boats. Boats is dead. We'll be able to do anything. I'll get the paper for me. I'll do it right now. What you are about to hear are excerpts from William Shatner's frantic 911 call. Shit. Oh my god! Dispatcher. Uh, what's your problem, sir? My wife's at the bottom of the pool. Okay, uh, did you get her uh, out of the pool, sir, uh, yet, sir? No, no, not yet. I want you to take her out of the pool right now. She's at the very deep end. Okay, sir, if you can grab something and get her out of the pool, sir, right away, get your wife out of the pool. Okay. Don't hang up on the phone. Shatner hangs up. Hello? 
<laughs> My wife's in the pool! <laughs> Let's go. Ronald McDonald and McCoffin and Wendy. Colonel Sanders. Like that guy would have jumped. He should have jumped right in. I know. I would have been like, ah, oh, honey! <laughs> oh my god! I'm stuck in outer space! <laughs> There's a woman in the pool. There's someone on the wing! A man on the wing! <laughs> There's you quick on bastard, you killed my son! Very nice. Oh god. Very Mexican. I, mean, I said, <laughs> she's at the very deep end. Oh my god! <laughs> my wife's at the bottom of the pool. The reverb's killer. Look at that fucking face. <laughs> yeah. That Klingon bitch. The Kardashians run! Face run steel, face run sun! <laughs> Bones! Spot! <laughs> <laughs> Don't carry a love it. Yeah. It's the ultimate tribute, dude. For him. Del Del I don't think Tom's ever screamed salad. <laughs> many, many, people, many people ever. Actually... Who's ever screamed salad with with such a vengeance? <laughs> Killer. Ouch. That's oh. our best song. Legendary. It is our best song. It took yeah. us huge. 14 years to write our best song. Hey, do me a favor, get me some vitality. I'm really thirsty. I want some vitality. <laughs>